oh there are constituents out there which are units below the sentence level and also we can test to see if a bunch of words are actually a consistent constituent or not so what are those tests you can go and watch the earlier videos but today which is going to be the last of these videos for testing constituents is about the constituency test which is called coordination we have a set of words in english which are closed class um, they're called conjunctions like words like and or but so what do these words do they add two or more phrases of the same category so basically there are certain rules that you have to stick to while you want to use these coordinating conjunctions probably the most important being that only phrases of the same category can be conjoined by these conjunctions by by the process of coordination for example when i say tim bought a book and a pen what is being coordinated here so obviously you see the coordinating conjunction and the instruction would be explain the coordination what are the two phrases that have been coordinated so the phrase a book and then a pen these are two separate phrases and both of them are noun phrases the sentence is grammatical because the coordinating conjunction has been used properly and it has coordinated two noun phrases if i say tim bought a pen and happy well happy is adjective and you can't coordinate them because it's a noun phrase and happy is an adjective phrase so the sentence sounds odd and it's of course it's not grammatical it's grammatically unacceptable it's ungrammatical why because you didn't conduct coordination properly so if i say i am pleased but not content you see again but and not content or content is both are adjective phrases the sentence is totally fine so in the first example two noun phrases were coordinated in the second correct example two adjective phrases are being coordinated now i'm going to give you another kind of phrase which is verb phrase which is probably more important than any other kind of phrase he cooked and cleaned the house so cooked is a verb phrase cleaned the house is a verb phrase they have been coordinated properly therefore the sentence is grammatical if i said he cooked and on the table so why is that sentence ungrammatical of course you know it's ungrammatical but then what is the technical language to explain the ungrammaticality he cooked and on the table on the table is a prepositional phrase you can't coordinate it with a verb phrase so i want to give you another example which is how to coordinate adverb phrases she did it quietly and efficiently adverb phrase quietly is an adverb phrase efficiently is adverb phrase i could even say quietly and very efficiently then this clarifies that very efficiently is actually an adverb phrase because it also contains a degree word that modifies the ad you could even say he did it rather quietly and very efficiently because he would have more than one word in adverb for the adverb phrase it would be clear so the point is an adverb phrase just because it's one word doesn't mean it's not a phrase it's a phrase that consists of only the head which is the adverb okay well when you use conjunctions you can draw a tree for the coordination so what is going on here you have as object a noun phrase it consists of two other noun phrases and each of those noun phrases consists of a determiner and a noun and they have been conjoined using the coordinating conjunction and you have a noun phrase that consists of a conjunction and two other noun phrases so here in this sentence the two noun phrases that have been coordinated they are they constitute the subject noun phrase emily played the game and had dinner right so what is going on here you need a noun phrase for the subject which is a noun 
and you need a verb phrase. So the verb phrase consists of two coordinate conjoined verb phrases and a conjunction. This might seem like a rather weird situation in which you have a verb phrase in which there are more verb phrases. It might look weird, but at this level of analysis, this model allows this. How does it work as a test? Coordination works as a constituency test because it requires phrases of the same category to combine. For example, the boy chased the cat up the tree. If you want to know if up the tree is a constituent or not, then you look at it and say, oh, up the tree. Is that a phrase? Okay, it is. Um, is that a prepositional phrase? It is a prepositional phrase. So if you add a prepositional phrase, which is not given in the sentence, it should work then. It would be, for example, in this case, you could create the boy chase the cat up the tree in over the fence. And because you can successfully add the prepositional phrase over the fence and coordinate it with up the tree, it means that up the tree is also a prepositional phrase and it is a constituent. And if you do the tree, it will have its own node like the verb phrases we coordinated. So, because it passes this coordination test, we know that the prepositional phrase up the tree is indeed a constituent.